How you doing? And welcome to the Angry Critic. I know I sound weird. I have a cold. I'll have a cold for this entire week. So, deal with it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. But the show must go on. I know, well, I sound weirder than usual. I don't have. I never have a mic on me, so whatever the camera picks up. Sorry, I, I'll get a mic eventually. So today we're going to be reviewing Crocodile Dundee. Yes, it's on Netflix, and I figured I might as well review it. Uh, directed by Peter Famine. Written by John Cornell, Paul Hogan, and Ken Shaddy. Probably mispronounced that, sorry. I'm always going to... It seems like every review I, I mispronounce somebody's name. Some poor bastard gets mispronounced by me. Okay, with Paul Hogan as Michael J. Crocodile Dundee and Linda Kozlowski. Koz Kozlowski? There you go. As Sue Charlton. Okay, so, basically, a New York City reporter, Sue Charlton, goes to Australia to do an article on an out-there outdoorsman, Crocodile Dundee, who proceeds to bring him, who proceeds to bring him back to New York as laughter ensues as Dundee tries to adjust to the city. Now, the humor in this movie is the greatest asset to this movie. Uh, but it really, it, but it relied heavily on differences in culture between Dundee and New York, and was at times kind of over the top, <laughs> making me wish it had slightly more variety to its comedy. Um, you know, use different use different sources for it. Um, it was also the movie was well acted, but it relied barely, uh, it relied heavily on stereotyping, which is part of where the comedy comes from. The scenery in the movie was was great. I, I liked the, at least, I, I did like the scenery. Uh, the story itself was okay. It was really simple. Uh, the only, only one real like musical theme could be heard through the throughout the movie, and it was kind of forgettable. Uh, I did feel like the movie kind of wrapped up too fast at the end. I wish it kind of went on a little longer. I was kind of having fun with it. So I was kind of left me wanting more. But I can't really knock too much for that. Because it's, it's, it's okay to be a little, too sh a little too short. As long as the plot is not affected, which it wasn't. Uh, it just sometimes when it's too long on the other end, that's when it becomes a problem. Uh, this movie also contains some cliches like strong man, helpless woman, clueless woman in the outdoors, which is what, which was a bit overplayed, and the lack of adjusting Dundee to the city life was kind of questionable. You'd think that they'd actually go through and explain some of these things to him before he got to New York, and you'd think that, you know, Sue Charlton would do her research before going to Australia. But it was back before computers, so I don't. <laughs> so uh, overall, it was a fun movie. I did enjoy it a, uh, a lot, uh, but it, it did lack in some areas. So my re my rating. Six out of ten angry faces. It is at 6.5 on IMDb and 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. If you like this, these reviews, uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this on Facebook and Twitter.